I think most of us who've done our first TEDx event, mine on 101010 with Reeves at PSU, remember that feeling we had, that sense of excitement, that boundless energy. Uh, and I definitely had that. Uh, and then I went to work for, for Johnson & Johnson, uh, a company with an inspiring vision, uh, make vital medicines that help people to be well, medical devices, and yes, our famous baby products. Um, but I wanted to think once I joined J&J, &J, how could I bring TED into J&J? &J? How could I bring that same sense of excitement? And so I started talking to people, you know, have you, have you heard of TED? Do you know what this is? Uh, do you watch talks? We started just screening some talks and found that what we really wanted to do was create this space for ideas, this opportunity for people to, to come together, to share their ideas, and to connect. And so we started by just doing a few small salon events uh, and ended up doing salons in six different countries over the course of just a few months. Uh, and there was a lot of genuine excitement around it. Ken, one of our speakers, um, we found out had escaped from Colombia as a small child, and his main goal, his driving force in his life, was that he wanted to create a telemedicine solution for his family back in Colombia, and so he shared that dream. And then someone in the audience who works for one of our uh, medical device groups connected with him, and they're now working on an initiative that's doing just that in Colombia and Turkey. Or Sue, uh, one of our speakers, who just had a passion for gardening, and so she started a garden at her local site with some land right next door and taught people how to create their own sustainable food. And now there are employee gardens at a bunch of different sites. And so we had a lot of this momentum and this energy uh, that helped us to do this global main event experience, which we did on 12-12-12, kind of pulling off from some of the 10-10-10 experience where we actually had 700 people together in New Jersey at the Liberty Science Center, uh, and then people in 39 different countries around the world in sites from Cairo, Lima, Shanghai, Auckland, uh, coming together and being part of that experience. We had over 2,000 J&J associates coming together. Celia is a 66-year-old woman who works for J&J. She said, it, it wasn't the best day of my career, it was the best day of my life. Uh, she was dancing with glow sticks, and she had this. Uh, she was kind of going crazy, and she works in R and D for us. So I don't know exactly what she does, but if she went to work the next day like that much more energized and engaged, and she's working on the cure for some disease, like who knows where that's going to lead? Or one of our speakers, Krishna, uh, who's working on an artificial pancreas with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Uh, said that the preparation to go into his TED Talk to learn how to be succinct and how to use storytelling and, and put together a really quality presentation helped him make a pitch to JDRF that has expanded their partnership and, and increased the funding and, and the potential impact that they can make through that project. I mean, we get feedback from people like, I fell in love with J&J &J all over again. And for the first time in years, I was excited to go home and talk to my kids about what I did at work today. And we stayed up all night watching TED Talks. And now my daughter is learning how to program and she's creating this game and like all these little secondary tertiary benefits that come out of it. I think the lesson is people really want to engage. They want to connect. They want to feel like they're part of something. They want to have this genuine conversation and this permission to share ideas. And I think TEDx at corporations can be a great way to get people there. Thanks.